So today is not a great hair day for me, so let's just not judge, okay? But anyway, that's not what it's about, it's not about me. It is about the car, obviously. And what I cannot believe is that I have never, let me take those off, I have never, ever, ever done a review on the Suzuki Vitara before. Or a video. I mean, I've done a review, I've just haven't done a video. How is that possible? I love this car. And not only am I now doing a Vitara video, but I'm doing it in the Vitara Turbo, baby. Hell yeah. What does that mean for you guys? What it means is that you can now choose a kick ass Vitara with the engine that is also found in the new Suzuki Swift Sport. I mean, does life get better than this? I'm not sure. Okay, no, it probably does, but you know what I mean. Just a bit dramatic right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it is the 1.4 liter turbo petrol engine, gets you 103 kilowatts of power and 220 newton meters of torque. And it is a fantastic engine. It is responsive AF. And I just sort of love that it feels like I'm driving in like a sporty version of the Vitara. It's mated to a six speed manual transmission. You can get an automatic. This this manual is also fantastic. It's slick, it's smooth, it's fuss free, which is what I always sort of strive for. So fuel consumption is claimed at 5.8 liters per 100 k's. I'm sitting at 7.1 liters, which is really, really good actually. I'm quite impressed by that. Um, I've done a lot of uh, uphill, downhill, round city driving, you know, really putting this to the test. Why is no one letting me in? People are so mean. <laughs> It's a very comfortable ride. Um, it's you know what it is for me. It's such a pleasant car to drive. Like I'm happy in this in my day to day sort of activities, hopping in, hopping out, going places, parking is easy. It just <laughs> ran out of breath there. I was getting so excited about it. The other thing are these seats are hella comfy. And I love that it's not all leather. I love that because I hate all leather seats. I hate leather seats, in fact. But this is fantastic. It's like a suede. It's all like very fancy. Um, space is pretty good as well, even for your rear passengers. The boot isn't the biggest, um, certainly not in this segment by a country mile, um, but it's still, it's sufficient. I think I'd be fine maybe if it was just me. Obviously compact family car, so that makes it a bit tricky, but you know, so this engine is only available on the top of the range GLX trim. So that means you it comes with like a host of really cool features as well, obviously. So you've got like a seven inch touchscreen entertainment system. It's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Mirror Link, all these things. I don't even know how half the stuff works, but you know, I pretend to. You've got cruise control and climate control. Please, you make me testify. Please, you make me feel like I've been locked out of heaven. I've been raving about this car now. Okay, I love driving it. There isn't actually a lot that I don't like about it. There has to be a downside, and that is its price. It comes in at just under 379,000 Rand. And if you look at its competitors, you can get yourself a Renault Duster, a new Volkswagen T-Cross, um, the new Citroen C3 Aircross. Um, there's a number of very, very strong contenders um, in this space that you could opt for at quite a bit cheaper. So now the engine is probably better um, and that's what you're gonna go for. But um, I just, I wish it was 20,000 Rand cheaper and then I would say, okay, fantastic. Like bargain, value for money, amazing, love it. Would try and get one myself. But it's not, so you're gonna have to decide that for yourself. So my free advice today is regarding pedestrians, okay? I think, most fatalities on our roads are in fact pedestrians which means we're doing something wrong as motorists and as pedestrians okay so here i'm going to do it from a motorist point of view quickly so pedestrians if i let you cross the road you know hustle okay knees to chest people knees to chest like samuel l jackson put it 
like get across the road as quick as you can so that you know not no one's getting irritated the other thing is if you are far away and you see me driving towards you don't look at me and sort of stroll across and just expect me to slow down i will of course because you know i'm not a murderer but also not everyone's like that and someone might be distracted so they might not see you that's still their fault but i wouldn't why risk it don't play chicken with me but then motorists okay so from a pedestrian point of view be aware you know when you're in residential areas don't drive like a maniac obviously stick to speed limits when you're on the highway we're in africa people okay we know that there are people on the side of the road and people who are going to cross the road be vigilant about everything including pedestrians because it's just such it's such a thing that can be avoided and that's the saddest part for me like no one should be getting knocked over and killed like it's just such an awful awful wasted um sort of life that you know could have been saved oh,